hey dudes and guys and other things out there um <clears throat> welcome to another css tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna be learning how to make like a small box well first we're going uh, to give it an id of text underscore box and open and close it so basically if we were to go ahead and make like a box you know it will just feel like like the whole screen now i'm gonna be showing you how to make one that doesn't First, we'll be needing a border. We'll be needing a width. Uh, we'll be needing a marking, a padding, and if we wish, we can add a background. And we don't need this, remember, and a color. So I'm gonna be using all these things to make awesome box. But first of all, let's go ahead and make, uh, go ahead and make a paragraph, uh, and given the ID of what was it called, text box. Right. And remember, you don't need to type in the slash before. And type in this is text. So basically, if we go ahead and run this, you can see we just have it like here. What if we want to add like a cool border, like a little style? Uh, well, let's. Go ahead and try to make that. So I'm gonna make a twin, a two pixel solid uh, red. That's pretty nice border. So it's two pixel thick a solid red color all around. The width is going to be 220 pixels. So that's how you know longers from uh, like you know the text to outside basically. And the marking 20 pixel. And that looks pretty fine. You all, un you, of course, you already understand what these things means. Padding, so it looks fine. And I'm gonna give it a background of black and white. So if I go ahead and run this and refresh this, you can see what what we have. Let me explain this too. The border goes here. That's the two pixel solid red that's around here. The width, the size, how long that should be, like from text, and this way out. The margin and the padding decides how much space there is, you know, from the text and all around the other the box. The background color, the color, the text color. So let's go ahead and uh, remove some of the width here and refresh and see what we have. As you can see now, it goes this way. So th the width, uh, as we have learned about before, basically decides how much room there should be for the text. And uh, yeah. 100 maybe uh, yeah it looks fine and uh, if we didn't have add all the marking and the padding and the width it would just go all around so let's go ahead and cut this out actually and uh, just let it uh, float as you can see if we don't add the width it would just go out infinitely so the width is basically the difference that the size is not going out totally so that's very important to remember um, we would just go ahead and uh, cut this part out, and it would still be uh, well, fairly nice looking at. Uh, I'm gonna put it inside again, though, cause uh, I feel like it. So that's basically it for this tutorial, guys. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to be working a little bit more with IDs and more with text boxes. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in um, the next tutorial.